guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, Eric and I are going to be celebrating our 10 year anniversary. So our 10 years was actually two months ago. It was back in October. And if you watched my main channel, you would have seen that I went out to icebergs in Bondi Beach for a really nice romantic dinner with Eric for our 10 years. So because it's our 10 year anniversary, we thought that it would be nice to do something fun and adventurous. So the original plan was to go to South Australia because South Australia opened up their borders to New South Wales and we both had never been there before so I thought that would be, you know, a nice adventure. But then there was like one coronavirus case that popped up there and okay, in Australia, whenever there's like one case we freak out because we're so used to having zero cases um, so yeah I freaked out and uh, we all decided not to go to South Australia because a lot of the other states in Australia were saying if you go to South Australia you have to quarantine for 14 days when you go back to your home state um, so yeah that got scrapped and then um, we were hoping to go back to Perth for Christmas, uh, Perth actually opened up their borders just last week. So that was very exciting for us because we have not been able to go back to Perth since, you know, this all happened. But then another case came up in Sydney like just last week. It should be okay though because I don't think it spread to anyone. But just because there was a case in Sydney, I want to be 100% safe and sure that we can go to Perth and not be carrying the virus just in case because we're going to be seeing our family and friends. So we decided uh, we're not going to go back to Perth until next year. Uh, so yeah, for our 10 year anniversary, um, yeah, plans just kind of didn't work out and we wanted to do something at the start of October but then Eric got busy, then I got busy and yeah, you know, just that just didn't work out in the end. So because we never were able to do anything nice for our 10 years, we decided we are going to have a staycation at a hotel in the city. So yeah, unfortunately um, because of these times, we can't do much about it, we can't really travel anywhere. So. Why not make the most of it and, you know, just support local businesses, I guess. So we are going to be staying at the QT Hotel tonight. We're going to head down in a bit. And I actually have a present for Eric, which I am going to give to him after. I haven't shown him this yet, but um, I am going to show you guys once we get to the hotel. So let's go. There's even a sanitizing station inside the elevator. We just checked in. This is the key. It's wooden. So cool. Wow, look at this. <laughs> okay, we're kind of lost. This way. It's nice. Yeah, it is snazzy. <laughs> it's like a maze. Yes. That's not pretty at all. That is kind of... <laughs> wow, look at that. It's like a hand holding... A room number. Wow, oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, room tour. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna put my bag down. Hotel room tour. So on the right we have a closet. And then down here we have an iron. Just some storage. I believe this would be a safe. Yep. Yeah, just more storage, ironing board, and then here is the bathroom. Oh, it's so nice! Wow, look at these amenities. Oh, so this is a Kiki K, I believe. Angel wash, angel rinse, body wash, angel body lotion. Oh, I love these, they're adorable. Then over here we have. A sewing kit, bathing cap, and one more just for the bottom is the sanitary bag. We also have an angel soap, cups. Yeah, in Australian hotels, they don't give us toothbrushes, so we bought our own from home. I've made that mistake so many times. I've stayed in Australian hotels, just forget to bring toothbrushes, so I always have to rush down to like Coles and Woolies to buy one um, after I land. But anyway, we have a beautiful bathtub. I actually bought some lush bath bombs with me, so we're gonna enjoy a nice bath tonight. Oh, the shower is like kind of connected to the bathtub, that's kind of cool. 
and then we have the toilet just right there and then here we have the snack bar though snacks are usually pretty expensive in Australian hotels so I don't think we're gonna get any um, in here we have oh the drink bar once again, I don't think we'll touch this because it's going to be super expensive. We'll probably go down to like Woolworths because we're very close by. Then over here, there's a door. Oh wait, we can slide this open. But if you close it, you just have like a massive mirror. So here we have a king size bed, a big TV, and then we got two chairs. Oh. A cocktail area this would be nice then we have a workstation I actually bought my laptop because I got a little bit of work to get done today the view I'm uh, not so much of a view because we're in the middle of the city uh, so we just see a building next to us but that's okay this is a very unique hotel look at this bed frame that looks so cool all right that is a hotel room tour. Just sitting in the bathroom, Eric is outside watching TV, but I just want to quickly show you guys the personalized note cube I got for Eric for our 10 year anniversary. So thank you so much note cube for sponsoring this video. So I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to create one. So basically the note cube, I'm not going to open it up fully because I want to keep it nice for Eric when he opens it, but we have a bunch of cards in here and it's all personalized on every single card i have a really nice message for eric and behind each card there is a photograph of us together so it was really nice creating this because i got to go through all of our old photos over the last 10 years so there's some really old photos in here so i can't wait to show him so to create this it's super easy you just have to go onto the website you take a personality quiz for your partner you don't have to buy this just for your partner you can even buy it for a loved family member your mother your father your sister brother even for a good friend and then once you've chosen their personality traits it will bring you to another page and they will have examples of messages that you can have on the cards you can change them to whatever you want then you can personalize them by putting photos on the back which I thought was amazing so so I thought this was just a really sweet gift that I can give to Eric for our 10 year anniversary so this company was started by a brother and sister in Australia it's an Australian company and shipping is already included in the price so if you guys want 20% off this note cube please use my code and it's also linked down below so I'm gonna give this to Eric now and see his reaction let's go hey Eric hey, what's up? I got a present for you it's come out um, I think you have... Oh, you, did you break it, Eric? No, 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 no. I think you're... <laughs> Is this something I thought that would be sweet for our 10 years? Please don't break anything else. <laughs> Made with love by Kim. Yeah. Eric, you're truly an amazing person. Here's a little gift to remind you of some of the reasons why I love you so much. You can read one a day or all at once. This is, this is nice. Yeah. You know me better than anyone. Eric, you're the best friend, you're my best friend, and I know that I can tell you anything and you will have my best interests at heart. I trust you so much and it means the world to have you in my life. <laughs> this is sweet. Is There's something yours? on every single one of the... them, so I'll take my time reading this. Yeah, but look at all the photos. Let's let's put them out on the bed. Are they supposed to be in order? No, there's no order. Um, but Other than the starter one, I guess. Yeah, there's no order. But yeah, it was really fun choosing the photos. This is you when we had like one of our first dates. And this is one during COVID. This is his birthday um, this year. Oh, God. <laughs> look at this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. That was you in Japan. That was two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. That was our engagement shoot. These are all really nice. I didn't know how we had this many photos together. We had so many. I actually didn't know because we kind of stopped taking photos, right? Oh my gosh, there are so many. <laughs> and this was when we went to Japan together. Is that first time in Japan? No, this is second, second time. Yeah, second time we went together. So many memories. There was one photo. Um, taken like literally like a few days after we started dating. I need a f this one Look at us. This is like yeah a few days after we started dating. Oh my gosh, we look so young 
hair. Look at your hair! Do you remember? Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is really sweet. I mean, I think this is always going to be a special day in our hearts. This one? Oh, the wedding. Yes. There's quite a lot of wedding ones as well because we had so many good photos on our wedding day. It's Hashi. Yeah, it's Hashi. Hashi. This is the latest photo we took together. This is on our actual 10 year anniversary. This is what he looks like now. And this is like one of the earliest photos we took. Look how different he looks. <laughs> Look at your hair. <laughs> what you see is what you get with you. And I must say it's brilliant. I wouldn't change a thing. I love how you never pretend to be something you're not. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> he's shy. <laughs> uh, I feel like we we can put these up somewhere, like make a collage and then mm. stick them on. Like maybe like we can buy like a plain cork board. Cork board yeah, yeah pin, them pin them up. Your graduation. Eric, you're a smart cookie, <laughs> and your wisdom around what is truly important in life is inspiring. I know that I'll always learn a thing or two from you, and I'm so proud to call you my husband. <laughs> you like it? I'm a cookie. You're a cookie. You're a smart cookie. This is the one that I took of him when I baked him a cake for your 30th birthday, and it was in lockdown, so we couldn't go out. So I remember I showed it to my family chat, and my sister was like, "He looks like a five-year-old, so happy with the cake." <laughs> the only thing is, I got part. I got forwarded onto my mum. Um, and she, oh my God. she didn't recognize who that was. I was like, who's <laughs> <No>. that person? <laughs> I think my mom probably sent it to your yeah. mom. Oh no, <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, this is not on our seven year anniversary. Seven? Yeah, so um, I, the only reason why I remember that was because I vlogged that day and I was going through my old vlogs and then I saw that photo. Um, yeah, we were at Harbour Town just. I don't know, we're just chilling. I don't remember what we did exactly that day, but there's a vlog, so you guys can check that out. Oh, and then we met in Japan as well. He came to visit me. So we went to the Pokemon Center, of course. <laughs> we went to Mount Fuji. We met, where else did we go to? Oh, this is in my apartment. So this is, um, cause you helped me move my stuff into the new apartment. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so this was like one of the last photos we took together when he went back home to Australia. Well, it was probably a um, birthday or no, but we used to go fine dining a lot back then for no reason. Back then we used to, but now we don't because, I don't know, now we cook at home. We have a mortgage now. We have a mortgage. We, we got things to pay off. Besides the wedding, which one's your favourite photo? I really like the one Stella took for us. Yeah, I really like it too. This one? Yeah. Yeah, this one's I really, really like nice. The Me that. too. Stella did such a good job with the photos. So this is for our engagement shoot. Like seeing this is weird. Because this was just before COVID and like you would never see this now. Like now when you see a picture of a crowd, you get, you, like you feel uncomfortable. Cause I mean, for me, when I'm in a huge crowd now, I feel re very uncomfortable. Mm. So it's very weird seeing this photo, but it's nice that back then we were able to do this. We still had our wedding this year, I can't believe that. <laughs> when we were 20 to when we were 30. Let's put them back. I mean, Christmas is coming up, so this would be a good present for someone as well. Mm. Christmas. Did you like it's it? It's a nice sentimental gift. Yeah. <laughs> you liked it? Yeah. Yeah. Slowly making my way through all these. Yeah. It's a lot to read. Yeah, so I tried to match the photos to what was on the message. Okay. Yeah, try to. So that's why some of them, like, you have a funny face, because I try to say that you're funny. Just sometimes. <laughs> only sometimes, only. Just sometimes. Even though our 10 years is overdue, we're just gonna chill together. We're gonna go shopping. We need to go shopping for yeah, Christmas we're gonna go gifts. Shopping. Yeah, we're gonna go shopping. And then what else are we gonna do? Let's have dinner together. Have dinner. And then play Genshin Impact. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go shopping. Thanks for this. Mm. Okay, we're gonna go shopping now. So we need to buy presents for our friend's nephew because we're gonna go over to their place for Christmas. He loves Fortnite, so we're gonna try find some Fortnite merchandise. And we also need to buy water because water's very expensive in hotels in Australia. It's like $5 a bottle. So we're gonna go to maybe Woolworths and buy some water. We need to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner tonight as well. I actually don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll work it out. We're in the toy section in Myers. Let's see if we can find a present for him. So I, I know he loves Fortnite. He's how old? Like 10? Is that the only one? Yeah, so this is the only Fortnite. But he would love a Nerf gun, right? Kids love Nerf guns. Yeah? There's a little pistol. Oh, a little pistol. 
Yeah, it's not Fortnite. All right, so we're gonna move on to EV Games just to see if there's any more Fortnite stuff to see what options we have. Okay, let's find this. Unfortunately, we've only got these options. There's not that many Fortnite stuff, um, but we're looking online and I think we can order it. There's like a better looking Nerf gun. All right, we're just gonna grab some water. That's fun. No, just normal. How much is it? Three bucks, yeah, that's right. No, two dollars ten. We're just going to have a quick break from shopping and gonna sit in a cafe to have some cakes and drinks. Our friend just actually joined us. We um, bumped into her whilst we were shopping. Vanilla slice. Uh, what is this? Apple, Apple crumble, crumble tart. Yeah. Her latte nas with us. She's just crashing. I'm crashing your tenue. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna have um, always tag along. It's kind of funny because I like, usually friends do tag along. Every single anniversary, our friends tagged along. It's tradition. Even for our honeymoon, our friends tagged along. And I'm like your designated Sydney friend. So yeah. We just make sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We're back in the hotel, I uh, just had a chill time with my friend Nat But yeah, um, we're gonna go out to dinner now I actually just bought out a bath bomb from my bag I got this as a present from Jess from MasterChef She was so sweet, she sent me like a little care package last week So we're going to be using that tonight in the bathtub But yeah, we're just going to go to a bar I think to have some dinner Because oh, I kind of regret eating those desserts because now I'm just not hungry and it's already like 8 30 p.m. Recently Eric and I have been really liking going to bars because okay honestly the last month we've just been inside playing Genshin Impact that we thought like you know maybe we should actually go out and get some fresh air so we've been going to bars like I don't know once every couple of weeks just us two and yeah, it's been really nice so we're gonna do that again tonight so this is the dress that I got from Chu I actually wore this in the last vlog I think and then I'm just wearing this jacket that I got from Yesstar as well so yeah let's head out now We are back in our hotel room after dinner. We just had like a few drinks at the bar, so that was really nice. But now I'm going to set up the bathtub. Just wait for that to fill up. All right, bath is filled up, so I'm gonna open up the bath bomb. This is the comforter bath bomb. It is pink, or oh, it smells like candy. Okay, that bath was very much needed. I have not had a bath in a very long time because, okay, I do have a bathtub in my apartment. It's just that I use it for storage. So, I mean, I could take the stuff out to use a bathtub, but you know, whenever I have a staycation, I always like to bring a bath bomb with me just to enjoy myself. Um, but for now, I'm gonna get um, ready to wind down. So I'm gonna take my makeup off. I have a skincare bag that I usually bring around with me when I travel. So this is what I usually do. I have a separate skincare bag. So whenever I have to go somewhere, travel to another country, I just literally bring this bag and that's all. Um, I never take anything out. So literally everything inside here was what I had in my bag um, the last time I traveled, which was a long time ago. So I'm gonna do a quick get unready with me. So first off, I'm going to be using, whoops, <laughs> the Clinique Take the Day Off. This is amazing. I've still got a little bit left. Oh, I should have bought a headband so I can keep my hair out of the way, but that's okay. Now I wore my eye area just because I've got lash extensions on still. So I removed my eye makeup differently, so I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, just wash my face and now I'm going to be using the Face Halo. This is the new version and oh my gosh, it is so amazing. So all you have to do is just wet it and then just remove your makeup with it. And it removes everything 
I love it. So I only use this when I have lash extensions on. Just because when you have lash extensions, you can't use oil-based makeup removers because it removes your lashes, which is not what you want. But this is really gentle. I just use this to remove my eye makeup. It removes it instantly. Then next, I'm going to cleanse and I'm going to be using the Pyong Kang Yu. What is this? Low pH pore deep cleansing foam. I'm planning on going back to Perth for like maybe a couple of weeks next year to see family and friends again. Oh yeah, I have hope that next year we can travel. Okay, so this one foams up really well. Face dry. Okay. Now, toner. So I'm going to be using the Pyongyang Yu Essence Toner. This is the travel size version. So yeah, for my <laughs> travel skincare, obviously I mostly use travel size stuff just so it fits into my bag perfectly. Next, I'm going to be using a serum and this is a Neogen Real Firm and Micro Serum, my favorite ever. This is actually the full size, um, but it's not that big. But honestly, this is my HG serum, like favorite of all time. I bought like four of these just to keep as backups, just in case I run out. And then next is eye cream, and I'm going to be using the Liberty Bell I Do. I've been taking my anti-aging skincare a lot more serious ever since I turned 30. <laughs> now next is moisturizer. So I'm gonna use this. This is the Pyongyang Your Nutrition Cream. Look how small this is. I actually really like the size. It's so perfect for travel. I might use it as like a refillable jar. And I'm ready for bed. But we're just gonna chill a bit. We might watch a movie, we'll see. All right, hair down. And I'm just going to lay down and we're gonna watch some TV. You said I had tenant, right? We actually went to the cinemas to watch that movie and yeah, I have never been so confused in the movie before. My cats and dogs pause unite. <laughs> oh my God, what a good boy. No, I don't like it. He doesn't. Oh, it's so cute. It is next morning. I slept so well last night. Um, forgot to bring a hairbrush, and this hotel does not have one. Usually they do, but I feel like Australian hotels they don't give you that many amenities compared to others. But anyway, I'm just gonna tie my hair up instead. That's fine. And we're gonna go out and grab some breakfast. We do have room service here, but we looked at the menu, didn't look too good. So yeah, instead we're just gonna head down, I think to the grounds of Alexandria to see if breakfast is still running. Though it's like, um, I think close to 11, so oh, they might not have the breakfast menu anymore. But yeah, I woke up, I just did my skincare and I just put on some concealer around the areas where I needed it and that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna go foundation free today, I think. Let's go. Okay, change of plan. We were going to go to the grounds of Alexandria for breakfast, but when we got there, they said it was a half an hour wait for a seat. So we're gonna go to Brangaroo and go to what, Devon. To Devon. Oh, I can't wait, but I just have to sign in. I am back home. Feels good to be back after our quick staycation. So I am about to head out to a friend's birthday party with Eric, but we decided not to vlog the birthday party just because we want to spend time with friends. Um, yeah, pretty much like this year, I haven't really been vlogging whenever I spend time with Eric or with friends, just because when I'm surrounded with people I love, I usually don't think about vlogging or posting on social media. So yeah, I realized that, especially on Instagram, I've been like, away for a very long time as well so I'm really sorry about that um, yeah it's just that I don't think about social media as much anymore which is kind of good in a way because that means that I can spend more time focusing on my real life relationships but yeah I will try my best guys I'm sorry um, I will do my best to try and upload more in December like I said I know I took like was like six weeks off this channel but I am back for now. So I was talking to Eric and we were thinking about maybe possibly doing like a road trip at the end of this year because okay we really wanted to travel but then once again um, cases started popping up and we were like oh my gosh. So yeah like I said um, we freak out when there's like one case um, in Australia. So there was one case like last week 
in Sydney and I kind of freaked out. I was like, I'm not going out at all. Um, but then it seems to have settled down and it seems like it didn't spread to anyone. So earlier today when we were going to get breakfast at the ground in the city, we had to wait like half an hour in line because yeah, places are packed now. Everyone's out going uh, Christmas shopping, which I mean, I'm very happy that things are back to normal here. And I really hope for those of you guys who are back in lockdown. Um, I really hope that you guys will get through this. Um, yeah, just please stay safe and yeah, <sighs> hopefully next year things will get better. Um, but I'm gonna end this video here guys. Thank you so much for watching and I promise I will try my best to vlog more in December and show you guys more of what's going on. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment box down below. Um, but other than that, thank you once again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.